Well, you look considerably less green than usual. Stop, you flatter me. I'm here for some tests. Mm. Hey, uh, how's Nicholas? Fine, I think. Why? Do you have any idea why he would need Robin to move in with him? Robin's living with him? Yeah, as of yesterday. That's strange. Yes, and it was very sudden. Nicholas doesn't do very sudden. Yeah, either does Robin. That's why I'm thinking there's something else going on. Hi. How are you feeling after the ride? Better. Okay, good. No problems with coordination or shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat? No, no. This poison that he gives me, it's extremely efficient. I mean, I'm, I'm fine until I'm not. Then I need the counter agent just to stay alive. I wish we could get a sample of your blood to the lab. I'm sorry you got pulled into this. No, it, it was bad manners for me to show up in the first place unannounced asking you to move in with you. I, no, it's fine. Uh, but look, if you could use the help, I am glad that I'm here for you. Oh, you know what? I had a rare moment of doubt, but now I think it's actually going to work. Are you not going to ask me what? Where's your sense of curiosity, your sense of adventure and romance? What will work? Convincing everyone that you two have fallen madly and hopelessly in love. And I have been negotiating our living arrangements. I've been fighting like George and Martha? Basically, yeah, but even when our fights are completely ridiculous, I usually know where her motivation's coming from, not this time. Now, you know that, that Robin and Nicholas have been friends for a very yes, long time. and I understand that he saved her life coming from the Metro Court lobby. I appreciate that, but why move in so sudden? It doesn't make sense. Is Emily living out there? Apparently not. I asked her, she said no. She won't give me any details. She said she has to live at Windermere. She has no choice. Nicholas has been acting strange, I admit that. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to go check it out. I'd appreciate it. All right, now, in the meantime, send flowers, send chocolate, and a note saying that everything Robin does is right and everything you do is wrong, because we like that. I'll keep that in mind. You'll be holding hands again in no time. Thanks. Isn't it enough that you poisoned Nicholas? You forced me to move in here, and now you want us to fake a romance? Well, Nicholas did leave intern Emily to fend for herself while he carried you out of the Metro Court lobby before it went boom. You mean before you blew it up? Do you know what? It's very rude to correct one's guest during the middle of a conversation. I don't think Emily minded that Nicholas carried me out of a building that was about to blow up. Well, Emily is nothing if not selfless and brave. Don't you two feel like dogs cheating on her like that? But you know what? Romance will blossom like roses on a blood-stained battlefield. And who knows? Your little masquerade might turn out to be a real thing. I have to be at the hospital in 15 minutes. Feel free to go. Don't let our poison prince change your routine. I'll check in with you later, okay? Okay. Oh, and one thing, Doctor. Should you feel the need to rebel once you've gained courageous distance at the hospital, remember, I hold life and death in my hands. I do it every day. I'm a doctor. interesting core of fire, that one, don't you agree? Especially for someone so tiny. Hey. What? There's the consult on the frontal hematoma. I'll review the records later, okay? Great. Well, I guess you're going to need to stay longer than you expect it, isn't it? It's not your problem. I have something you have to do. Kavi. Hey, I, I just left a sample on your station. I need a full battery of tests. Tests for anything and everything that you always think of that I never do. <laughs> what would you do without me? Hey, I need you to keep this really quiet and get me the results as soon as possible, okay? I'll get started immediately. Thanks. So what's the emergency? Uh, just some research. Don't worry about it. Hey, organizing opposition against Dr. Ford and his policy of uh, turning away patients without medical insurance. Here's a petition. There's a meeting in the cafeteria in about two minutes. Yeah, I can sign it, but I, I can't go to the meeting. I'm too busy. All right, see you there. Okay, so what's the rush then? I would rather not get into it. Okay? Robin, what is going on with you and Nicholas? Kavi, how are the tests going? Nothing yet. Any idea what I'm looking for? Uh, short answer, no. My best guess is a compound of poisons. Any particular type? A screen for venom. That's the weapon of choice for snakes. 
Alexis has cancer. She's in her second round of chemotherapy. She just lost her daughter in a custody battle. What? I'm interested what? in her qualifications as a lawyer, not her many heart-rending travails. But the more people who know about this, the more dangerous it becomes for you. <laughs> you are concerned about my welfare? She's already suspicious of you. Robin's deeply involved and not a good liar. I expect her to improve. Otherwise, I'll do something to her boyfriend to give Robin one less person to lie to. Which would obviously attract attention that you don't need. Nicholas is Patrick. Won't this be interesting? Patrick, come on. Why did Robin move in with you? I'm not leaving until you tell me the truth. <laughs> 